హలో ఫ్రెండ్స్ వెల్కమ్ టు ఈసీ అకాడమీ ఇన్ దిస్ లెక్చర్ లెట్ అస్ అండర్స్టాండ్ ఏ వెరీ పవర్ఫుల్ టెక్నిక్ నోన్ యాజ్ స్టార్ డెల్టా ట్రాన్స్ఫర్మేషన్ సో వై డూ వీ నీడ్ స్టార్ డెల్టా ట్రాన్స్ఫర్మేషన్ వెన్ అన్ ఎలక్ట్రికల్ సర్క్యూట్ హ్యాస్ లార్జ్ నంబర్ ఆఫ్ ఎలిమెంట్స్ సాల్వింగ్ ఇట్ డైరెక్ట్లీ యూజింగ్ కిర్చాఫ్స్ లా బికమ్స్ వెరీ డిఫికల్ట్ యూ నీడ్ టు రైట్ సైమల్టేనియస్ ఈక్వేషన్స్ అండ్ యూ నీడ్ టు సాల్వ్ దోస్ ఈక్వేషన్స్ విచ్ విల్ బికమ్ వెరీ కాంప్లెక్స్ సో వీ కెన్ సింప్లిఫై దిస్ కాంప్లెక్స్ నెట్వర్క్ by converting between two forms of connections star and delta this conversion lets us reduce the network into a simple one which can be easily solved using series and parallel rules what is a delta connection a delta connection looks like a triangle each side of the triangle represents a resistor connected between two nodes let us label the three corners as a b and c the resistors are between a and b r a b between b and c r b c and between c and a r c a so it is like a r a b then b r b c then c r c a back to a what is a star connection now imagine a star connection here there is a central node let us call it as point 0 each resistor connects from central node to an outer point a b and c so we have r a between 0 and a r b between 0 and b and r c between 0 and c that's why it is called as a star where three branches meet at one center point now the principle of transformation the principle is simple the resistor between any two points in both connections must be same so the resistance between a and b in the delta circuit must be equal to resistance between a and b in the equivalent star circuit this rule help us derive the conversion formulas now let us see the delta to star conversion let us say our delta resistors are rab rbc and rca and the equivalent star resistance are ra rb and rc then the formula r ra is equal to rab into rca divided by rab plus rbc plus rca rb will be equal to rab into rbc divided by rab plus rbc plus rca and rc will be equal to rbc into rca divided by rab plus rbc plus rca so each star resistor equals to the product of two adjacent delta resistors divided by the sum of three delta resistors which is very simple to write now let us understand star to delta conversion if we have star resistors r a r b and r c and we want the delta conversion then the formulas are r a b is equal to r a r b plus r b r c plus r c r a divided by r c r b c will be equal to r a r b plus r b r c plus r c r a divided by r a and r c a will be equal to r a r b plus r b r c plus r c r a divided by r b you can notice that each delta resistor is equal to the sum of the products of all pairs of resistors divided by the opposite star resistor that is how the conversion works so when to use these star and delta transformations if the circuit has triangle shaped loop of resistors and you need to simplify you can use delta to star if you see three resistors meeting at a single node but want to find 
equivalent resistance between two external points, you can use a star to delta conversion. These transformations are super useful in bridge circuit and three phase network. Now let us understand a practical example. Suppose we have RAB is equal to 6 ohm, RBC is equal to 9 ohm, RCA is equal to 3 ohm. Therefore, we can find an equivalent star resistance. RA is equal to 6 into 3 divided by 6 plus 9 plus 3. That is equal to 18 divided by 18, which will be equal to 1 ohm. Similarly, we can find RB 6 into 9 divided by 18 that will be equal to 3 ohm and RC that will be equal to 9 into 3 divided by 18 that is equal to 1.5 ohm. It is very simple. We have just converted a delta network into a star equivalent network. Here the key points to remember use star delta transformation to simplify the complex resistor networks. In delta to star conversion, you can use product of adjacent resistors divided by sum of all three resistors. In star to delta conversion, you can take the sum of product of all pairs divided by opposite resistors. Always ensure equivalent resistance between any two points remain the same. So this is about a star delta transformation where we are turning a complex circuit into a simple circuit. Hope you have understood the topic. Thank you.